Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So my name is Tori Singleton. So today is such a super exciting day, but also really, really daunting. I have wanted to do this for such a long time now and I've decided to just go for it. Like it's just, life's too short to not do, you know, what makes you happy. So I've decided to make my own YouTube channel. Um, I've had a lot of family friends just be like, just go and do it. And I'm, I've just been so like, just like lack of confidence, self-doubt and you know putting yourself out on social media is like super scary. You know people have their judgments, they have their opinions but you know at the end of the day everyone's entitled to their own opinion and that's totally fine but you can't live your life under what other people think. So you know in the last few months I've kind of just been like you know what like this is what makes me happy, I love doing it so I'm gonna do it and you know if people out there have their thoughts and opinions then that's fine like I don't care, I don't care what people think of me anymore. So I've decided to go for it. So here I am filming my first video. Um, yeah, it's super exciting, but again, it is scary. But you know, once you start, you just got to go for it. And it's what makes me happy. So I'm going to give it a go. You know, stepping out of your comfort zone is how you grow and how you succeed in life. So for me, like this is definitely stepping out of my comfort zone. As much as I love filming and like talking and sharing things, it's daunting to go and then put it on social media where the whole world can see it. But yeah, I think it's going to be great and I'm super excited. I've planned this for like a long time and I've just got ideas flowing in the last few months and if I don't start now, I never will. So I'm just going to go for it and I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this journey with me. My channel is going to be called Tori's Story and the reason behind that is when I was little, my family always used to say, Tori tells a story. So I thought it was just super fitting and it's like sentimental to me and it's just like for what I want to do and what I want to create, I thought it was just perfect. So the main reason why I'm creating this channel is because the last two years of my life have probably been, actually not probably, they have been the most challenging and rockiest roller coaster ride I have ever been through and I just feel now that I'm coming out on the other side like so much stronger and I've learned so, so much that I've got so much to give and share and just like I really want to help others going through anything similar or being through it, going through it, just anything like that. I really want to help people and yeah, as like I said, it was super tough for me and I just want to share my story, what I've been through and yeah, help others. So I've been told by like a lot of my family and my friends and healthcare professionals that what I've been through in the past two years is a, is a lot more than the average 19 year old and look, it probably is, I would have to agree, but like you, you never know what someone's going through behind the scenes of, you know, social media and everything. But yeah, I just know my journey has been difficult and I'm so excited to share it now that I am overcoming everything and, and just pushing forward and I'm learning each day. But yeah, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. There was a part, oh, lots of parts in my journey where I was going through something and I didn't even know what it was or... I've never even heard of it. My family friends didn't even know about it. And like we, my mom and I YouTubed, we Googled, we read, and I don't read ever. So for me to read is a big deal, but we just tried to find answers and get to the bottom of everything. And so now that I've learned so much and I'm still learning, don't worry, but I feel like now I can share and like share what I've learned and just give to other people and hopefully I can help them in any way, shape or form through what I've been through and what I've learned along the way. I'm now on a self love, health and happiness journey for myself and I definitely feel like I'm on the right track now and I've grown so much, so so much in the past two years I'd probably say and I'm ready to, I'm still growing, I'm still learning but I'm so ready to help others and do whatever I can to help and yeah, I just, I'm so excited. So my Instagram and my YouTube are mainly going to be focused on health, fitness, motivation, happiness, lifestyle, mental health, elite sports, and fun, of course. But I really just want to help people live a healthy, happy lifestyle and, you know, live their best life and feel really, really good from within themselves. So with this being just like an intro video of like a get to know me, I thought I would just tell you a little bit about myself as quick as I can. So I'm 19 years old and I live in Melbourne, Victoria in Australia. And I was born in Perth in Western Australia. Um, my parents split up when I was three when we were living over in Perth. 
Um, and then my mum and I moved over to Albury Wodonga. We lived there for like a few years while my dad stayed in Perth. So that was like really difficult, obviously, being so young and your parents splitting up. You don't really understand like why mummy and daddy aren't living together or why daddy's so far away. But yeah, as I grew older, I obviously understood, you know, why and what happened and you just learn to live with it. Live with it. it is what it is. Um, I definitely, like I flew over to Perth quite a lot. So when I was five, I started flying over there by myself. But yeah, I was by myself. So my mom would drop me off at the airport, take me in all the way to the gate and then my dad would pick me up on the other side. Yeah, it was hard, but like obviously it was fun. You know, I got to fly and travel so much. And I, when I was little, I was never really afraid of flying. So it was just like a fun adventure for me to go and see my dad and my family. So then my mum and I moved to Melbourne when I was about six. So I had already started school. I think I went into grade one when I moved to Melbourne. And we've been, yeah, we've been here ever since in Melbourne and I love it. I have an older brother and sister, Ricky and Sarah, from my mum's side. And I also have three younger brothers in my, on my dad's side over who live in Perth. Riley, Christian and Cooper. They're three little rascals, but I love them. I love all my siblings. So with them living in Perth, it is really, really hard, as well as my sister who lives in Aubrey Wodonga with her four kids. So I just find it like super, super hard living so far away from both of them. Obviously with my sister, it's a little bit easier because I can just jump in the car and it's only a three hour drive, which is great. But with my brothers and my dad and my family, obviously it's a plane ride to Perth, which is about four hours and obviously costs a lot more so i used to go over probably uh like one two maybe three times a year when i was quite little and then it started dying down to about once a year obviously when my training picked up and everything um but yeah it's so hard to i guess see them grow through photos and videos and not being able to be there for you know their birthdays and christmases and like stuff like that it is super hard and now that they're growing older, I'm getting... When I do go and see them, I have, like, a really good connection with them, especially the older one, Riley, um, who's in high school next year, and I can't believe it. But, yeah, me and him are really, really close, and we talk, like, all the time. And I'm trying to get him to come to Melbourne. He is 11, and he won't fly by himself. I was like, are you kidding? I was five when I was flying by myself. So I'm sure you can suck it up and come to Melbourne to see me. But, yeah, I'm still working on that, so I'll let you know how I go. So on my mum's side of the family, we have so many aunties and uncles and cousins. Like, we have a huge family, and I honestly love it. Like, it is the best thing ever, and I could not imagine my life without any single one of them. I just, like, we're so super close, and we all get along so well. Like, we can just go and chat to anyone about anything, and, you know, we all have... We all trust each other, and we are just so super close and supportive, and honestly, like... I probably wouldn't have gotten through half of what I've been through without my family and we have the best family functions ever you'll see one soon I just couldn't be without my family like they are the most supportive beautiful people so moving on to me as a child I was quite a difficult kid I was just so naughty and I'd always throw tantrums and argue fight back just I was such a stubborn little kid and I just like having like my older brother and sister who were, like about 15 or more years older than me and then like they looked after me a lot but I just yeah I was so naughty and my mum was a single mum so credits to her so my mum always says like when I was little I started her on her spiritual journey because I was such a hard kid that she just sometimes would get to the point she's like I don't even know what to do like what do I do with this crazy tantrum throwing child and she just learnt so many ways I just you had to work around me like you really she tried honestly I probably everything you could think of to try and get me to nap during the day or get me to sleep at night or get me to eat my food or play with my cousins or anything like that and yeah so she really learnt to parent me very different to my older brother and sister and she always says that took her on a her spiritual journey and helped her the way she is now. So when I was little, I was super active, crazy, always had a ball of energy. And like my mum was literally like, what do I do? Like, how do I get her out of energy? And so when we're in Perth, she put me into like a kinder gym. When we moved to Wodonga, I went into the Fruit Fire Circus, which I'm pretty sure I got kicked out of because I was really naughty. But I'm not 100% sure. When I moved to Melbourne, I tried like a few different gymnastics clubs. Um, just like basic general gymnastics and I just didn't couldn't find the right one and I just like 
I tried dancing, I tried gymnastics, I started netball, um, but then there was this one night where I found an acrobatics club and I was introduced to acrobatics for the first time, which for those of you who don't know, acrobatics is a form of gymnastics. So it's just on the floor, so you don't have any equipment or anything or apparatus, you just have the floor and then you've got your partners and you've got throws, balances, lifts, catches, dancing, which I loved that that was a part of it because I absolutely love dancing and performing. So I found that gym and I've been with them ever since and I found my second family and absolutely have loved it ever since. I fell in love with Acro and when I first started I honestly couldn't have even imagined of being where I am now or achieved what I have achieved and just it's been absolutely amazing the journey over the last 11 years and the second family I've made and the bestest of friends I've made that I'll have for life and I know that and just everything I've learned along the way like I honestly appreciate it and it's just been amazing. So I kind of got pretty full on like pretty early yeah I just like went straight into it and I knew like from the first week and I was like yeah this is what I want to do I absolutely love it. And I also went to high school at Maribyrnong Sports Academy and I was lucky enough to get a scholarship for acrobatics and netball. Um, but unfortunately, like as Acro got better and better, I had to drop the netball because it was just too much trying to juggle both sports. And I also left school in year 10 because one, I absolutely hated school. It just wasn't for me. And I knew that I had so much more to give outside of it. And I just, yeah, I couldn't do it. And I'm not telling you to do it, give up school. But for me personally, I just, I wasn't made for school just wasn't my thing. I also wanted to train just as much as I can. I wanted to achieve the best that I could and give everything to my sport, which I pretty much have in the last 11 years. And I've just worked so hard to achieve everything that I have in acrobatics. Once I gave up school, I did a couple of courses. I just worked casually to fit in with Acro. It was super hard because I just wanted to train all the time. Yeah, I probably wouldn't change anything. I Everyone always asks me, do you regret leaving school? And I'm like, no, nah. like I hated it that much that I don't regret it. All I missed was my friends and I still saw them after like two years of me going MIA because I was just training all the time. But yeah, like I, I wouldn't regret it. I'm absolutely so grateful for what I've achieved through Acro and yeah, maybe, you know, if I didn't leave school, it might not have happened. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. So that's pretty much a little bit about me as quick as possible. Um, just for you to learn like who I am and what I'm about and what I want to do. I've done so much planning for this channel and I'm finally doing it. But yeah, like I said, I've got so much to share and so much to give and I can't wait to do that with you guys and just bring you along on my journey. And just a quick thank you to all my family and friends who have pushed me to hurry up and do this channel because I know they're just, ex just as excited as I am and I definitely probably wouldn't have done it if I just hadn't gotten that push from everyone and just be like, just go and do it. So yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so grateful for them. So I also want you guys to know that me creating this channel isn't for any type of sympathy or like anything like that like this is literally honestly to share my personal story and what I've been through what's to come what I've got planned and yeah I'm here to help I'm here to listen if you have questions if you want to talk like 100% I'll be here like I said I've been through so much and I just want to help others and if I can help one person per video per day like that'll make me happy that's literally why I'm creating this channel this channel is for me to 100% stay true to myself and keep it as real as possible for you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really want to follow on my Tori story journey, then click, click the subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy what's to come. My next video will definitely be my journey over the last two years. And I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.